Brooklyn local high school got a new addition today. But it wasn't built with school funds. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson shows us why more schools are now turning to others to help with big projects. Lisa. Well, these schools and districts need more money to move faster. In fact, the Kaufman Foundation is focused on quality and equality in education, and they are spending millions of dollars to achieve that goal. Grain Valley High School's new outdoor classroom, or LearnScape, is ready for students, thanks to Hollis Miller Architects. You know, that's one thing that we're very passionate about. We have kids going to these schools around here. A preschooler learns very differently than a high schooler, and so we design our spaces around that. School districts throughout the metro are becoming more dependent on the generosity of the private sector, due in part to reduced state funding. Last week, Academy Lafayette announced the purchase of a building that will soon be their new high school. And Wednesday, the KCPS school board voted to reopen Lincoln Middle School. Both projects are soliciting financial support. But School Smart KC also, uh, we went to them and applied for a grant for uh, about 1.5 Five million to help us with startup. We still continue the campaign to raise more fund. We hope that uh, philanthropic organization will understand the return on investment by investing here. We are offering right here in Kansas City a world class education. Aaron North is the vice president of education with the Kaufman Foundation. The Kaufman Foundation has several million dollars in both charter schools and district schools in Kansas City. Uh, growth uh, in the quality schools is really around this idea that every single student should have the option uh, to attend a great public school, whether that's district or charter, and uh, no exceptions. A commitment and focus shared by leaders in education and their supporters throughout the metro. Now, the Kaufman Foundation tells me they support programs that are currently working. So the millions of dollars that they're investing are at helping these programs simply grow and move faster. In Kansas City, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.